You're late. I know, I'm sorry. Where were you? I ran into an old friend on the street. Oh, there's some food on the stove. You cooked? Thanks. Oh, I love you, sugar plum. Oh, I love you too. Mwah. Smells good. What is it? Beef. Who'd you run into? That girl we went to school with who always wore a money clip instead of carrying a purse. Oh, her. What was her name? I haven't seen her in years. I didn't even know you and her were friends. Red. Red is her name. Uh, that's right, Red. What's wrong with Red? I like her. Yeah, she used to make jokes that weren't funny. I think she's funny. Well, maybe I just have a better sense of humor than you do. Just kidding. <laughs> so, uh, what'd you do with uh, Red? Had coffee. Where? What does it matter? Well, I want to be able to imagine your day. Every moment. Like a beautiful, detailed painting, the sort of Russian might paint on a hollow egg. I don't think any Russians are interested in painting my life. <laughs> well, where'd you get the coffee? Green shutters. You took her there. What's wrong with green shutters? You got coffee at a Chinese restaurant? <laughs> there are no other restaurants on that block. Well, that's where we go. I told you there are no other restaurants. You're supposed to be home for dinner. I know. I'm sorry. I should have called. Thanks for cooking. I have a headache. Oh, you do? I'm sorry. The one you get right there? Yes. You want me to rub your head? Sure. Thanks. <sighs> do you have any money? Why? Well, can't you just answer the question? Simply and elegantly, yes or no, in the manner in which it was asked? I have a little money. Can I have some? What for? Well, I just need it. What, do you not trust me? Of course I trust you. <laughs> oh. Why did you stop? Sorry. So... You'll give me the money. I just want to know what it's for. It's a surprise. How much? $500. Jesus! You don't have $500? I thought you were an heiress. I'm not an heiress. Well, you're more of an heiress than me. Well, that's true. Most people are more of an heiress than you. They, like, inherit money from their jobs, like a paycheck. <laughs> Look, screw you. I don't like your language. In a just society, people with more money give money to people with less money. I know you agree with that. Yes, I, I do. If I had more money than you, I'd give my money to you. But you never do have more money than me. But I could. Yes, you could, but you don't. Look, you want to tally it up? See who spent more on who? In the mind of God, who do you think has spent more money on who? Me or you? Me. You think God cares? It's just money. It's not your soul. Money is meant to be spent. Right? It, and I know you have $500 just sitting there doing nothing. Your, sh your soul should just sit there doing nothing, not your money. I'll write you a check. Thanks. It's my whole savings. Don't worry, honey. I'll give it back to you. I'm just going to borrow it. How's, uh, what's your face anyway? Red. Yeah, Red. What kind of a name is Red, anyway? What does she think she is, Marlboro Man? She is, kind of. Red's a cowboy. Oh, yeah, right, a cowboy in Pittsburgh. She is. She wears a cowboy hat. She wore a big hat into the red shutters, green shutters. It was kind of funny. People looked at her, and she just tipped her hat. She does things to saddles and harnesses. She rides things. She can make a horse fall asleep. She sings horse lullabies for a job. She gets paid for it. She says it's beautiful when a horse falls asleep. She says it's like if God fell asleep, because God would sleep standing up in case he had to wake up to take care of anything. It's cows that fall asleep standing up, not horses. Oh. 
I thought she said horses. Yeah, cows. Horses only fall asleep if they have to, if they're put in stalls. They should roam free, don't you think? It's nicer to think of horses falling asleep. I don't, I don't like to think of cow falling, a cow falling asleep. It's not as pretty. Why is a cow not as pretty as a horse? People in India think cows are beautiful. They put their cows in their art. I don't know about that. Well, what'd you talk about? You and your red. I told you, horses falling asleep. Did she make a pass at you? Yeah, I screwed her. No, she didn't make a pass at me, Jesus! What is wrong with you, using language like that? I'm going to my mother's house. You haven't eaten your dinner. I'm not hungry. Why not? Hey, did you eat dinner with her at the Green Shutters? No. The coffee filled you up all by itself. Yes. Never known you to be satisfied by cream and sugar. I didn't have any cream or sugar in my coffee. Oh, you took it cowboy style. That's your new way, huh, tough girl? Yeah, that's right. I don't like your tone of voice. I'm going to see my mother. You didn't finish your dinner. I'll finish it later. I want to see my mother. Tell her I said hello. I will. Bye. I'm sorry. What for? For being late. Don't, don't go to your mother's. Stay here with me, we'll, we'll make up. What do you mean, we'll make up? You know what I mean, we'll make up. Come here. That was from Late, a Cowboy Song by Sarah Rule. We now get to uh, welcome back to the happier, uh, the ha welcome back to the stage, Happy Valley or comedy improviser Laura Patrick, who is taking the place of Miley Shule, who is stuck in a snowbank and could not make it to the show. So Laura will come on as the improviser. Alternative factoid about uh, Laurel is that she is a uh, resident local beekeeper who raises bees only in the wintertime and uh, trains Lipizzan stallions in her spare time. You're late. Oh, I'm sorry, it's snowing. Well, where were you? Well, I was stuck on uh, Route 9 um, and then I got distracted because I saw a little bunny. <laughs> <laughs> that little one. Well, not, that, not that little. It wasn't chocolate. It was an actual oh. bunny. Yeah. There's some food on the stove. Oh, good. What are we having? I'm excited. Uh, I love you, sugar plum. <laughs> You're not making lasagna, are you? You promised to make lasagna, and now when you give me the sugar plum, I know there's no lasagna. Beef. Oh! You know how I feel about beef. Who do you run into? Excuse me? Oh, her. What's her name? <laughs> there is nothing for you to be worried about, Susan. <sighs> I didn't know you and her were friends. Did I say we were friends? No, we're not friends. I just ran into her. Once upon a time, in a college far, far away, we may have been lovers for a year. That's right. <laughs> Red. Your mock outrage falls on deaf ears. She used to make jokes all the time that weren't funny. Okay, you want to do this, huh? <laughs> yes, my lesbian lover from Hamilton College was very funny. In fact, she was an actress. 
well, maybe I have a better sense of humor than you do. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I know, that's funny. Of course you don't. <laughs> Unless you were kidding about the beef. Oh. What did you do with the red? <laughs> well, <sighs> depended on what day it was. Where? Oh, all over campus, are you kidding? <laughs> Talk about bunnies. <laughs> Jesus. Listen, there's nothing like a lesbian until graduation. You tell me, they, we were all over the place. I want to be able to imagine your day. Every moment. Like a beautiful detailed painting. The sort that a Russian might paint on a oh. hollow egg. Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh, yes. You're such a man. <sighs> okay. Well, there was this one time in the stacks of the library. We were actually in the section on art history, because that was a turn-on for her. Don't know why. <laughs> and, um, and then... Where'd oh, you wait. get coffee? So coffee is sexy. Okay. We always got, you know where we got coffee? It was a little place on campus called The Hollow Shoe. You took her there? Oh, my God. Seriously, I thought this was foreplay. What do you mean? Now you're mad at me? Come on. You got coffee in a Chinese restaurant. The hollow shoe. <laughs> That's where we go. Sweetie, you're getting all bent out of shape over nothing. You were supposed to be here for dinner. Uh, I am here for dinner. I got stuck in a snowbank. I was looking at a bunny. It was a nature moment. You're cooking goddamn beef. So who cares whether I'm a little late, and what does it have to do with some girl I kissed 15 years ago? <laughs> I have a headache. Oh, stop it. Sure. Listen. Thanks. <laughs> Seriously, I may still be lesbian. Look, sweetie, sweetie, I love you, I don't love my ex from college. I don't even know where she is today. And so I want you to know I'm, I'm here. I'm committed to you. Oh, do you have any money? <laughs> yeah, I do. Can't you just answer the question? Simply and elegantly, yes or no, in the same manner in which it was asked? <laughs> okay, this is the foreplay, right? <laughs> okay, here's my money. Ooh, can I have some? <laughs> yep, you can have some, uh -huh. but you have to do stuff for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why'd you stop? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking there. Uh-huh. Because the Hamilton is going to cost you. <laughs> Put that over here. We're gonna start with a fiver. So you'll give me the money? No, sweetie. There's no giving. It's a surprise. It can be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, five hundred dollars. <laughs> How's your heart? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have $500. <laughs> oh, I could. I thought uh, oh, you were an heiress. I can be. <laughs> <laughs> You're more of an heiress than me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Darling, I'd like you to kiss my feet. Look, screw you. <laughs> Seriously? 
in a just society, people with more money give money to people with less money. I know you agree with that. Okay, you know what's not sexy? Socialism. <sighs> if I had more money than you, I'd give my money to you. The second part of that sentence was hot, the first part was not. <laughs> but I could. Why don't we pretend you have more money than me? You want to tally it up? No, 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 no tallying. Counting money isn't sexy. Mm -hmm. Throwing it is sexy. Whoa! Yeah. 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 See who spent more on who! Yeah! In the mind of God! <laughs> no, that's not sexy. Oh. Well, who do you think has spent more money on who, me or you? This is a trap. You think? I have spent more money on you. And yes, I think. God cares. It's just money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well done. I know it's hard to believe, but the improvisers really do not know these scripts at all. It's pretty astounding once they get going, but it's true. They just have no idea. Right now, please welcome back improviser Scott Braidman. Factoid about Scott Braidman, he's a busy new dad with a beautiful toddler, Amelia. In addition to improvising on the stage, Scott is dean of the comedy school at Happier Valley Comedy, where he also teaches advanced improv classes. I know. Gosh. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. It's okay. I, I understand. It's hard. It's um, marriage. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. 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 I ran into an old friend. Who? Maureen? On the street. Was it Maureen? You ran into Maureen? Mm -hmm. What did she say? Did she tell you that you, you look... cooked? Hmm? Thanks. I cooked. So she told you that, huh? I love you, too. I do love you. I just am looking outside of the box. Outside of the frame of, we agreed, right? Marriage. Blah. Remember a second ago? And you're like, marriage. Smells. Blah. Smells and like, blah. furniture. Sharing belongings. Blah. Right? Good. Like, let's get out of it. Let's forget about the whole thing. What is it? Right? What is it? It's nothing. It's, <laughs> what it is is like a, it's like a prison of the mind. It's a, pr it's a prison. Well, I'll do, it's a prison. Marriage is a prison, and we have the key. That girl we went to school with who always wore a money clip instead of carrying a purse. Oh, that was gross. <laughs> Just carry a purse. Even I carried a purse. It's like, <laughs> it's like, what are you gonna fit in a money clip? I haven't seen her in years. Me neither. I definitely have never, have not seen her since school. I did, I, I slept with her as well. Red? Yeah. Red. Uh, her actual name is Jackie. Red is her name. Okay. Well, we called her Red because at the time we were like, Red Money Clip. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, I thought we... Uh, what? What's wrong? With, with Red? I'm sorry. I just... The, not I having... like her. Really? I think she's funny. Okay, I, yeah, she's funny, but you didn't want to—you didn't want to do the things that I did with her, right? Are you? That's so exciting! <laughs> you want to experiment too, right? 
Think of all the women that I've kept you from over the last six years. There's like a whole sea of, of, of gay or bi-curious women that you have not even had the chance to meet. Had some. You did, hmm? <laughs> Coffee? Sure. What does it matter? How, um, how many? How, for how long? <laughs> I don't think any Russians are interested in painting my life. <laughs> okay, but that leaves a lot of other nationalities. <laughs> Did you cheat on me before I cheated on you? Or was I first? Green shutters. What's wrong with green shutters? <laughs> that was abrupt. <laughs> um, listen, I, I, I don't mean to keep uh, harping on here, but if you made the first move, then I literally have no guilt. <laughs> Do you understand? But there are no other restaurants on that block? Did you go to the same restaurant? I told you there are no other restaurants. So you saw me with red. I know. But that doesn't answer the question. I'm sorry. Of whether you cheated first. So, let's let's take a little walk back in time a little bit. So, here we are married, uh, right? And at some point, you had sex with a lady. I should have called. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks for cooking. All right, I cooked for Maureen, but that was like two months ago. And oh. it sounds like you've got something you deeper. You do. I do. You know what? I made her tikka masala. I'm sorry. I did. And I made it the best that I have ever made it for her. The one you... Get right there! Well, this is new. You want me to rub your head? <laughs> sure. <laughs> you, uh, you know, you are distracting from the original. Hmm. Why? <laughs> Look, it's it's not that we don't have a, a an excellent physical relationship. It's a little lower. It's more about uh, the feeling of adventure, of going somewhere you haven't lower. I have a little money. Huh? Okay. Do you mean a separate bank account? Do you have a separate bank account? Why? Have you been sleeping with women and you have a separate bank account? Well, of course I trust you. Oh my goodness. Of course, you trust me. I'm totally like a little lamb in this marriage. I'm like sorry. pure as the driven snow. You, you are like some harlot. You're like an entirely new person. I just want to know what it's for. The whole thing? Maybe we just live moment to moment. How much? A lot. Jesus. Don't bring him into this. I've just never seen this side of you before. What was that? I, <laughs> what was that moment? You, you, we, we, were, we were sharing something and then you... I'm not 
an heiress. Oh. So all the... all the inheritance... Are you rich? How much is in your secret bank account? How much is in your super scandalous secret bank account? <laughs> the one you kept hidden from me. Oh, that's true. Most people are more of an heiress than you. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> more of an heiress they, than like, me. They, <laughs> like, inherit money. Yeah. From their jobs. Yeah. Their jobs? Like a paycheck. Oh. <laughs> 